as we begin our series of interviews with the Springfield Mayoral Hopefuls, today we chat with Mike Houston. This is Midday. Your news starts now. Welcome back to Midday. Joining us now is Mike Houston. He, of course, is a Springfield Mayoral Hopeful. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Jessica. How are you hey, doing? I'm pretty good. Thanks for stopping by for us here at Midday. Of course, the uh, primary election is February 22nd. A week from Tuesday. Yes, so register to vote. <laughs> and, of course, the general election then is April 5th. So we want to know, what is your first priority if you do become mayor? I think my, my first priority is to, to balance the budget and regardless of what the city council does with the, the budget that they're dealing with, it really is not going to, to be balanced. Uh, they really are not dealing with the budget as it needs to, to be dealt with and we will uh, immediately start on that budget and uh, redo it. And when you think in terms of a, of a budget, one of the things you really have to keep in mind is that when you set the budget, you are setting your priorities for, for city government for the, for the next year. So within the first 30 days, I would anticipate that we would uh, take a look at the budget that has been approved by the, by the city council, that we will uh, go ahead, redo that budget, and take it back to the city council with the, the priorities that, that we would set. And what are your priorities? I think that, that number one, what we have to do is really deal with the basic services of, of city government. We have to make sure that both our police officers and firefighters have the tools that are necessary to protect the people of the city of Springfield, and that we need to be dealing in our public works department to make sure that when it snows, that the, the streets are plowed, that uh, when we're doing leaf pickup, that it's being done efficiently, but more importantly, that it's being done on a citywide basis, that all areas of the city are being, being treated uh, equally. And I think that as we, we look at, at basic services, that's what the people of the city of Springfield want more than anything else are good basic services. They want to feel like they do have protection, particularly protection from the, from the police uh, department as well as the fire department, and that those services are in fact being delivered not only in an efficient manner, but one that really meets their needs. And these services sound great, but of course with this budget deficit, we have to wonder how are we going to pay for it? How are you going to balance that? I think that one of the things, in, in all honesty, that, that we have to do is right-size city government. And the only way that you have an impact on the city budget on an out-year basis is people. The city budget is really the corporate fund, which is approximately $100 million. And if you take a look at the budget of the police and fire department, they make up over $67 million of that budget. And those departments, if you look at the line items for personnel and fringe benefits, over 93% of it is into personnel and fringe benefits. So really, there's not a lot of money left for anything else. So that when we talk in terms of trying to, to balance the, the city budget and to look at what we are going to do on an out-year basis, what we really have to do is to, to look at people. And I think that one of the things that's happened in the, in the last eight years is that city government has become a political operation. CWLP has literally become a political fiefdom. And what we have talked about is the fact that we're going to do an an audit where we look at every job in city government to see exactly what services those those jobs or that position is uh, providing the people of the city of Springfield and where people have been hired for political purposes those jobs are going to be eliminated and that money in turn can then be put into delivering services to the people of the city of Springfield and get away from all this discussion of, of layoffs and, and furlough days. So if you're elected mayor, if you're a city worker, should you be concerned about keeping your job? If you're a city worker who actually is working there is no problem, there is no need to, to worry about your job. In fact, the morale within city government I don't think has ever been so low because of the fact that people have been hired based on who they know, not what they know. And there's no one that's more frustrated about that than the, the existing city workers who are, are in fact trying to deliver services and do a good job for the, the people of Springfield. And as a former mayor, I can tell you that, that most of the people who are in city government actually try to do a very, very good job for the people of the city of Springfield, and they literally are demoralized right now. Now, you mentioned you have been mayor of Springfield before. Um, some people argue we need somebody new, we need somebody fresher. What is your argument to that? My argument to that was I think I did a pretty good job in the uh, eight years that I served as, as mayor of the city of Springfield. And in the last 24 years, I've been in the banking business. I've grown as an individual. I'm a lot smarter than what I was 24 years ago. I know a lot more about the city. I know a lot more about people. And if people thought I could do a good job 24 years ago, I could really do a good job today. And the reason that I'm running is I think it's time 
for the city to get serious about dealing with the problems. And I've talked in terms of the fact that I only want to serve four years, and I will, in fact, solve the problems or begin to solve the problems of this city. And that's something that we really need to do, and that's something that has not been done for some period of time. All right, Mike Houston, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, the primary election is February 22nd. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gus. The next mayor of Springfield has some tough decisions ahead of him or her, from the budget to the future of the city's utility. In the days leading up to the primary, we're sitting down with each candidate to find out what direction they would take the capital city in over the next four years. ABC News Channel 20's Heather Hubbs joins us now with tonight's mayoral spotlight. Heather. Well, Mike Houston, a former two-term mayor for the capital city, wants his seat back after 24 years. He says all he has learned in that time will allow him to do an even better job now than he did back then. While he only plans to serve a four-year term, Houston says he will solve the city's problems. Mike Houston says if elected, he would overhaul the city's budget during his first 30 days in office, saving money by getting rid of unnecessary personnel. We're going to do an audit where we look at every job in city government to see exactly what services those, those jobs or that position is uh, providing the people of the city of Springfield. And where people have been hired for political purposes, those jobs are going to be eliminated. Houston says the bulk of those jobs are at City Water, Light and Power, calling it a political operation. So what does he plan to do with the general management position left vacant by the resignation of Todd Renfro? I think that we definitely want to have a professional engineer running the utility. We want to take the politics out of the utility. Now when it comes to business development, the two-time chair of the Chamber of Commerce says there needs to be a change in attitude at the city level to make it easier on those looking to set up shop in Springfield. When someone comes and they want to invest or they want to create jobs within our community, that we actually say, what do we have to do to make this happen? Take a can-do attitude of not, as opposed to trying to put barriers in front of people. He also says the city needs to invest in infrastructure in order to revitalize the east side, a project he says won't happen overnight. And that was Heather Hubbs reporting again. The primary is February 22nd. Well